the very first 10 seconds of this film, I was like, you know what? Bring it. Just give me everything you got. I knew this was going to be a funny one. <laughs> and that might even be an understatement. But yeah, folks, let's jump into my review of the new film, Let the Wrong One In. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Let the Wrong One In which makes its world premiere this year at Fantastic Fest 2021. Now folks, first 10 seconds of this film, I'm like, yep, this is definitely going to be a crazy one. I knew it was going to be funny because it gave you that instant impression that this was going to be like an old school horror film. Mitz was like some current shenanigans because like, you know, the title screen, a little bit of how the the film was great, color graded. Um, yeah, it's just little small aesthetics that you're like, all right, yeah, it's going to be like an old, you know, old school film with like an updated feel to things. So a good mixture of like unpredictability, should I say? Um, and cool. I'll take that. But this film was totally satirical, like totally. This film was like Dracula dead and i'm loving it <laughs> you probably like dracula but yes dracula dead and i'm loving it if you know the film you know what i'm talking about here that level of humor here like for real for real um but i gotta say for any moment that you ever want to try to take this film serious which you gotta definitely let me know if that's possible because it's definitely not things are get so comical so quick it was like a Saturday night, a Saturday like late night television, com like like very comical movie or whatnot. Like, you know that 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 neck of the woods type of things where it's just like, yeah, we're not gonna take ourselves serious. That's why we're gonna put ourselves on 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 the the we're gonna put ourselves on the air at a very like time where people are trying to digest the complete opposite of anything health <laughs> heavy and. That's what this film is. And again, I, I don't want to say, like, when you say you don't take yourself serious, like, that means it's a bad film. It's like, no, this film knew exactly what it wanted to do and its target, and it went for it. And it really, really did. But it was it was fun. I was entertaining. I laughed way more than I thought I would. But let, let's, let's talk about this now. So you got this dude. He finds out he's a vampire. And it's really not an easy learning curve for him or anybody around him, especially, like, his estranged brother, brother who says, like, hey, dude, you're really not good at this. Um, because at the same time too, while all that's happening, this is taking, taking, taking place in Devlin, Ireland. You also got like a group of like vampire slash Gothic people running around at, at night in Devlin, basically turning people vampires as like a running joke. It's like a cult, like a, yeah, let's take over and get rid of all the humans by turning everybody into vampires. <laughs> and like, these are by no means very, like, traditional vampires, by no means. Again, they're, like, very emo, goth, uh, you know, very urban style of vampires. Like, so, like, they're so nonchalant about what they're doing, but they're very purpose purposeful in doing so. And it's a, it's a weird combination, which also speaks to... <laughs> the, the, the film which is a weird combination but hey again i, I buy it to this but I, at the same time too this film definitely plays homage to a ton of classic films and horror tropes so like it does very stay true to uh the genre itself and and again like yeah it's definitely now is the new is the home of this these new age vampires and they're just trying to take over the entire city here um but at times you know the, again much like i said the the, the film dracula did and loving it, and, you know, this film felt like it was a parody of something, and I don't really know exactly what, but I also think that's because it's pulling from so many different films that it just, it, it's uniquely its own, and that's cool, because the film was fun, by all means, it was fun. Now, with that being said, this is the part I've been waiting for, the blood splatter in this is so enjoyable and funny, it is a bloody mess everywhere, and it's not like trying to look like practical, it it wants it to be funny and unique. And, like, at some point, the blood splatter techniques were just getting more and more unique. They was just like, yeah, let's see what happens if we do this. And then just give it, like, a 
outrageous amount of blood that shatters over everywhere. So I, I thought that was really, really cool. And I, I again, I thought it was fun. And, um, you know, the deeper and deeper they got into the film, you know, the more and more unique they got with these blood splatter things. And again, they never by no means tried to make it look realistic at all. It was just completely fun. Um, now, there was a small part of this film that tried to get serious, but <laughs> it doesn't even matter because I knew it wasn't going to last long and it didn't. So, like, don't worry about the toning and anything changing. This film was just fun the entire time. And, you know, because you also got this kind of this sibling rivalry that's kind of going on here. Um, it's good. And then you got this, like, random vampire cult, cult, cult in the mix of everything. So, like, <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just a good time. That's all I can say. Now, there is some added effects. And again, nothing tries to look practical. And that's for a reason, because they want to keep this fun, this movie fun. That's just that. So there's effects that you're going to be like, oh, that looks bad. Well, cool, because that's exactly what it wanted to do. It wanted to stand out in a way that you're just like, yeah, that's funny. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, uh, I, I, I do have to add that um, did this film, you know, I thought that when it came down to the very last scene, it was like icing on a cake. It was just like everything that I talked about in this review, the last scene was just like, cool, I know you've been waiting for this. I know that everything we've been doing thus far has been fun. We got somehow in this, so we need something that's going to really send you on your way. And that's what it did. <laughs> just as flying back. And um, yeah, that's all I would say. But yeah, there is a happy ending in all of this. And I think that's really, really cool to, to, to be able to bundle this up in a way that makes people leave, um, you know, really appreciating what they saw and just ultimately laughing and joking about what it is. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's funny because uh, it, the, the film, you, you start to wonder again, like, what's the point of this film? But it's ultimately trying to stop the vampire cult that's trying to take over in Dublin. And it just happens to lay on the hands of two dysfunctional brothers and uh, little if they knew it, but yeah, that 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 became the responsibility, and then yeah, you know things happened, you know. But ultimately, it was a fun film. It really, really was. But folks, this is Let the Wrong One In again, making its world premiere this year at Fantastic Fest 2021. Jump in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about this. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon. <laughs>